overcomes some great obstacles and shares her journey in the book, This Woman's Worth. Camille Stone is here and she joins us this morning to share a little bit of that story with us. Good morning. So great to have you here. Thank you for having me. Yes, and congratulations on this book. It's been published for about a year now, I guess. Yes, it has been about book. a year. Yeah. And I, I want to dive into that and talk about it, but we can't really talk about the book without getting into your story just a little bit. Absolutely. So tell me about how, this, how you began this journey of writing the book. Well, I decided to write a book because I had a story to tell. Abuse started in my life when I was about three years old, and I wanted to my story to o help other women to overcome their adversity. So I started writing the book, and I kind of lived it as I was writing it. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was kind of a healing process. Um, but then I realized, wow, this is really this is really what women need to hear. Right. And let's talk about the point in, in your life when you wrote this. You said you were actually expecting, you had just learned that you were expecting your third child. I was, yes, yeah. very late in life. And uh, I was 38, and my other that's two were... That's not very late in life. Now, that's close to my age. <laughs> so. It was, it was late for me considering right that, yeah, I had two that were nearly grown. I yes. was almost done yes. raising children, so he was my surprise. And right. so um, through my pregnancy, I started writing the book and um, finished it not long after he was born, and it was just a bittersweet process for me. Right. Okay, so fast forward, you were through the pregnancy even, you were writing this book. Absolutely. Then, and so this really is kind of a, a life story, but there's a lot of encouragement, and you're doing something really neat because you said it's all about giving back, and so in order to empower women, let's talk about your program of how you're getting the books into to hands of women that really need some extra encouragement. Well, I decided I needed to figure out how to get mm -hmm. my hands into my book into the hands of women that truly need it. Right. And that turns out to be women that are incarcerated and living in shelters. Right. So I started a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo.com called the She's Worth It Initiative. Um, and I don't, a lot of people don't, aren't aware, but there are over 200,000 women incarcerated in the United States right now. Right. Well, what's even more shocking is that 90% of those women have experienced sexual violence. Right. And what's even more shocking is that 80% of those women are mothers of minor children. Right. And that's a lot of babies growing up without their mama. Right. So I started the crowdfunding campaign so that I could get my book into the hands of women in shelters across the United States and the women that are incarcerated absolutely free. Right. And so you have, I guess, have have partnered with others to kind of get this process, but are you finding that it has been pretty easy to get it into to the systems, especially when you well, know, we're into prison? Yeah, we're currently in the in the midst of the crowdfunding campaign right now. Mm -hmm. um, once the cra the campaign is finished, that's when I'll begin to ship out books. And but it is a little more difficult to get them in prisons. It is a, definitely a process. Right. And for anybody that is watching, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to see if maybe our graphics, can, there is a hotline that women that are in need uh, can call, and we'll try to get that up as, as we continue to talk today, because you never know who through, you know, the internet can see this online or that might be watching today that, that needs help. Absolutely. So where are you now in this process? Are, are you traveling and, and also having some speaking engagements that you can... I've had some speaking engagements here in mm -hmm. Chattanooga. Um, the crowdfunding campaign has really taken up a lot of my time right now, right. Um, but more speaking engagements, um, traveling to other radio stations, TV stations, just trying to get the message out. And, um, and then also, I'm in the midst of writing my second book. So all of these things are kind of just like a snowball effect right. of, wow, I'm really busy. And, but it, it feels amazing when you get some feedback and somebody says, hey, that book truly helped me. Thank you for that. That's what it's all about. Right. All right. So people that are watching, I, I noticed I looked at that website that you were just referring to where you said you were trying to um, you know, generate funds for that. There's a lot of, there's some artwork, there's some other things. Tell me about what all is on that page and how people can, maybe if they want to help support your cause, the things that they could could do. Absolutely. So you can you can contribute as little as ten dollars, or you can contribute as much as two thousand. Uh -huh. um, and so we have some awesome perks on there. Obviously, my book is one of those things. Um, but I have some paintings on there that are just amazing as far as speaking to the emotions that women go through. Right. Um, my mother actually painted those, but they wow. are they're awesome. They they're, are. Yeah, they're absolutely awesome. Um, so we have some awesome rewards. But any donation, any contribution that is given, it comes with some perks. So you can check it out on Indiegogo, Indiegogo.com, right. um, the She's Worth It initiative, and you can check out all those perks and make a contribution. And one contribution of 10 books is worth a, woman, a book to a woman. That's perfect. Camille, thank you so much for sharing thank this you. story. Your book can also be found online if someone would like to go there and purchase it, and be sure to find her on Facebook as well. Thank you again so much for being with us this morning. And we'll be right back with more Let's Chat.